What's up everybody, Jose Ortiz here with PetRockMedia.com and today we're going to talk about the brand new bombshell release that just posted last night during the Video Game Awards and that is the launching of the trailer and the unveiling of the brand new Microsoft Xbox previously named uh, Scarlet is now the Xbox X. Let's check it out. <laughs> Okay guys, so if you're into gaming, technology, cinematography, and so forth, then this is the channel for you. Punch that subscription button and that bell icon so you're notified each and every time we post a video or go live. Now last night during the Video Game Awards over on Twitch and numerous, numerous streaming sites, Xbox dropped what I believe to be a pretty significant bombshell, and that is the first, pretty much first look trailer of the new Xbox, previously entitled Project Scarlet, which is now the Series X. Now, of course, we all know the rumored specs and nothing like that was even talked about last night. You know, the 4K 60 frames per second they're targeting with potentially 8K 120 frames per second, which is going to be astronomically awesome if they're able to pull that off. Redesigning of a controller, all of that good stuff. As you can see here with the trailer that's right here, it just kind of showed you the gameplay or what we can assume is for sure game engine gameplay. Of course they dropped Halo because that's gonna be one of the big, big titles that is gonna come out along with this system. So if you remember when the original Xbox launched, Halo was a pretty, pretty big game that was associated with that system. 360, a little bit, definitely Xbox One X, and then now of course, Project X series. Now the design is drastically different, but I'm okay with it. I know there's a lot of memes going out there. It looks like a small fridge, um, things like that. Same thing happened with the PlayStation when they released the PlayStation 4 Pro, how it got stacked and stacked. There's always going to be something that somebody's going to bring up about it. Me, personally, I like the way it looks. It reminds me of like a micro PC that goes right next to your computer. Um, a media PC, something that you can have to show movies and stuff like that. So I think aesthetically and the way it looks, I think it looks nice. The all black color, to me, looks pretty slick. But again, to each its own. I'm pretty sure there's going to be some companies out there that are going to custom paint these things. But again, right out of the gate, I like the way it looks. A big reveal, at least in my opinion, is the fact that there is an optical drive. So if you look closely, you'll see that there is a drive on that Xbox, which means that their whole idea of potentially doing an all digital Xbox is not gonna be right out of the gate. Now, they could potentially remove that, maybe bring down the cost. There's rumors of this thing going $4.99, $5.99 at launch. So to maybe bring down that price, they might remove the drive entirely and just make it all digital like they have right now currently with the Xbox One. But who knows? But at least right now, right out the gate, it's going to have an optical drive. So for the specs and everything, of course, you can always look on Xbox's website. I'll leave a link down below to an article that I pulled out from Forbes.com. It goes over the GDDR4 RAM that it's going to have, all the different tech specs, NVMe, SSD drives. You know, this thing is going to be pretty blazingly fast, but as Xbox has shown, especially with their integration with the Xbox Game Pass, with PC and Xbox, they're slowly going that route of a PC and having PC components within their drives and within their, their boxes. So that's something to think about. Obviously, if you're a PC gamer, you're not really looking into this, maybe just for more of a media center. But again, me coming from all walks of it, from handhelds to Xbox, PlayStation, PC gaming and so forth, I enjoy a good experience and it looks like this might potentially be able to offer that. But that's all I wanted to do guys, just kind of bring up the fact that yes, Xbox did launch an initial trailer to this system, what it's going to look like, potential gameplay and so forth last night at the Game Awards. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Will you be picking one of these up? Will you be pre-ordering one for the holiday season because this is slated to come out holiday season 2020. If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. Hit that subscribe button, punch that bell icon so you're notified each and every time we post a video or go live. This is Jose Ortiz signing out from PetRockMedia.com. Peace.